Well, hmm. I'll begin at the beginning. It was a fine soft day. In spring it was. When the train pulled in to Castletown three hours late as usual and himself got out. He didn't have the look of American tourists at all about him. Not a camera on him. And what made a horse? Not even a fishing rod. Castletown! Say, can you show me the way to Innisfree? Ah, uh, Innisfree to be sure. Five miles and maybe a half more. You see that road over there? Sure do. Don't take that, that'll do you no good. The best way to Innisfree and manage the man is... Ah, s- save your breath, Mr Maloney. It's Innisfree you want. Do you know your way to Knockinor? If he knew the way to Knockinor, would he ask the way to Innisfree and it's just beyond? Innisfree, this way, you please. Should not be give, you should not be giving directions. Well, Yank, what's your name? My name is Sean Thornton, and I was born in that little cottage over there. Shawnee, shawnee, thought, and Jesus, heaven preserve us. Look at you. What do the Fiji Irish men in America? Steel, Mickey. Steel and pig iron furnaces so hot a man forgets his fear of hell. <laughs> Good morning. Is she real? <laughs> she couldn't be. Nonsense, man. She's only a mirage. Brought on by your terrible wow. thirst. Come on. That's the covenant. We're at peace now. Ah, sure. We haven't given up hope yet. Who's your Yankee friend? I the nice, quiet, peace-loving man. Came home from America to forget about his troubles. Troubles? Yeah, he's a millionaire in the Yanks, but he's eccentric. Where can I show you? What is it? It's a, a bag to sleep. <laughs> they, they call it a sleep bag to chair. Bid you welcome home. The men of Inish Free welcome you home. Well, I'm a man from Inish Free, and I'm the best man. And I bid no welcome to any man fool enough to pay a thousand pound for a piece of land that's not worth two hundred. Didn't I hear a man called Danner bidding eight hundred and ten? Now, hold on a sec. I don't blame Mr. Danner for being on his ear. Who's on his ear? Well, you and ten turns like you wouldn't put a dollar on his ear. It's just a way of speaking. Well, mind your ways then. Thing is, the deal's already done. I own the property now, and as soon as we're going to be neighbours... Neighbours? Never! And if I ever catch you so much as putting one foot on my land, I... 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 And another thing, stay away from my sister Mary Kate. She's not for the likes of you. I said good morning to her. But, but it was good night you had in your mind. That's a lie. That, that's a what? I said that's a lie. That's a word I take from no man. Put up your fist! I'm not gonna fight you, Danner. But well, I'm gonna fight you! <laughs> You'll regret that to your dying day if you live that long!
should be kissing me. So you can talk? Yes, I can, I will, and I do. And it's more than talk you'll be getting if you take one step closer. Don't worry, you got a while. You'll get over it, I'm thinking. Some things a man doesn't get over. Like what, supposing? Like the sight of a girl running through the fields with the sun in her hair. Kneeling in church on a Sunday with a face like a saint. Saint indeed. Uh, and then coming to a man's house to clean it for him. But that was just by way of being a good Christian act. I know it was, Mary Kate Danner, but it was good of you. Uh, not at all. Osperla. Oh, Father, I, I didn't let my husband sleep, sleep in the bed with me last night. I, I made him sleep in a bag. In a, in a sleeping bag, Father. Bag? What's that? Bag? It, it, it's a, a, a sleeping bag, Father. A bag for sleeping in with buttons on it. Oh, Father, he would not pay my dowry. I, is it a sin? Woman, Ireland may be a poor country, God help us, but here a married man sleeps in a bed and not a bag. <laughs> I get your dowry if that's what you want. Here's your shoe, madam. Not so far. Thank you very kindly, sir. Sir, sir, here is a stick to beat the lovely lady. You, you can take your sister back. It's your custom, not mine. No fortune, no marriage. You do that to me, your own wife. There's your dirty money, egg. I'll be off home now. I'll have your supper ready. In the name of the Father. And the son, stand her and shot Horton! Father! Father! There's a huge fight in the town! Yes, yes, Father, there too is in this big river now. Do your duty! But senior, it's Danner and Sean Thornton! Danner and Sean, Sean Thornton! But oh, why the devil did you tell me so? <laughs> Three to one, I'm down to hurt! Three to one, I'm down to hurt! I'll have some with that. Ten pounds and Thornton. Done! <laughs> And <laughs> uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, if you please, this is a private fight. The Mark is the Queen's Mary Rose will be applied on all occasions. It's okay with me, Micheline. Um, now, none the litigants will remain neutral. Now, shake hands and come out fighting. I thank you. The Mark is the Queen's Mary Rose. The Mark is the Queen's Mary Rose. 
How about a drink before you kill yourselves? That sounds like a great idea, lads. All right to me. Come on. Sounds good to me, but I'm as fresh as a daisy. <laughs> you look more like a fresh-eyed Susan to me. Come on. Why, that's a fight I'd come a long way to see. <laughs> Hope you can stick around till the finish. <laughs> ha! Bartow! Say, what time is it? Half past five, sir. Jesus! <laughs> There was a wild colonial boy, Jack Duncan was his name.